Kasim, how are you, mate? Doing alright, you okay today? I'm doing very well, thank you. So, we did a story, TMZ did a story that um, Felicia Moore is saying that T.I. and Isaac Hayes tanked her campaign and in part it led to her defeat um, with a fake news story about how supposedly she wanted to close all strip clubs, which wasn't true. It wasn't true. I just think you have to trust the voters. Uh, the election wasn't even close. The margin was so great. Um, but T.I.'s voice is important and so is Isaac Hayes' voice. But at the end of the day, I think the voters picked who they wanted to be the next mayor. And congratulations to Council Member Dickens on his win. So you don't think that them sort of disseminating this false information in any way led to a uh, lack of voters turning out for Felicia? It didn't lead to a 20% margin. Right. Yeah. I mean, it was a 60-40 race. So I think this might be a little more relevant in a closer election, but 60-40, turn the page and move on. Do celebrities have a lot of sway in Atlanta, more so maybe than other than California? Like California, it seems like to not matter as much. You know, in Atlanta, they're an important part of our culture, an integrated part of our community. And so I think that their voices matter. Uh, T.I.'s voice certainly matters, uh, Isaac Hayes' voice matters, but it really blends in. Uh, celebrities and creatives really blend in our community uh, in a dynamic way and their voices certainly matter. And last thing, how important are strip clubs to Atlanta? Um, I mean, they're, they're an important part of the economy as well. We host, uh, we're in the top five most visited cities in the United States of America, so uh, having a dynamic nightlife is important, and that's a part of it.